Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Desi and this is Europa Universalis 4. We are going for the Khan achievement, which means we need to get the Mongol Empire restored before the Age of Absolutism. I actually wasn't recording for like 10 minutes, so not much has happened other than Muscovy has finished this war against Nagai, which we were expected. We just got Military 7 and right now we're just trying to build up a little bit of manpower because we just got a mission from the tribes to do so. So yeah, uh, we're pretty good shape right now, but we need to get to war again pretty quickly here. How much military tradition we get from? We're getting very slow military tradition. Okay, I know. I uh, ended up uh, decreasing manpower. We're gonna go for quantity next anyway. ideas. I'm gonna get this national unrest thing which will be really nice. And just we already have problems with um oh yeah autonomy. Forgot about that. Can we not are we not have we not converted these cores? Or are we at our freaking capacity? Oh, we'll see. Once we get a larger, we'll think about uh, spreading culture. I think we're actually ahead, though. Pretty weak. This isn't a bad one. Maybe we'll just take this one. It's ten percent. Usually if it's double digit it's it's pretty good to take it plus we have three out of five promoted cultures so yeah that'll that won't that's not bad that'll give us some more income yeah there we go also should give us some more manpower as well it did take this Russia's still at war. So I think we'll do... We have the military tech on them. We need to start building up cannons. But we're... We need to, I think, get to like 30... Twelve k under, so we need to get to try to do quick math in my head. So fifteen k under sixty, you need to get to f thirty forty five k, which is gonna take freaking forever. I don't even know if it's worth it. Oh, we actually have Renaissance almost present in one of our provinces. And once we go for Muscovy, they're, they'll eventually embrace it, so that'll be nice. Okay. Yeah, they've already reformed their alliance with Korea, which is super obnoxious.
trying to think which one of these would accept vassalization. See, they have too much of an economic base. They wouldn't either. What's their uh, liberty desire? I bet we could vassalize these guys. Got a couple more years. I really don't want to wait for this stupid manpower thing, but we really don't have a choice. It's unfortunate. But it's also crappy to have low manpower as well, so... I don't know why we're not... Oh, we're at governing capacity, that's why. So that's why we're not able to expand anymore. But that'll change. I'm fine with that. Mercantilism, I think, is pretty good. Yeah, our trade is 10 points, 11.62 now. It's one of our major... Okay. I'm just going to use my calculator because I'm so freaking tired of... Yeah, we need to get another freaking ton of manpower. Ah, <sighs> what do you do? This war with Muscovy is not going to be pretty. So another year, and we should be there. Okay. Which would a level three even cost? Our con's getting kind of old, too, which is a bit concerning. We might be able to seize land, though. And then we'll be over 50%. That's fine. Let me see what they're... Tribes are 34. We'll go to 54. Oh my goodness. Raising power. That sucks. I hate this. And now we're going to be... Now we're going to have loyalty issues. And that's going to cuck our freaking manpower growth. Gosh dang it. This always freaking happens. I hate this. I'm not going to cuck my trade for 10 years, though. Alright, another year. This is boring. I guess I could have seized land from them, but whatever. Calvary, land attrition. Yeah, we'll go Calvary Warfare with our next one.
That's a pretty good one. Oh, the tribes are mad. And the problem is, is if we... I would like to get that military reformer, though. I think that would help a lot. We might as well just speed this up. Take freaking ever. Stupid disloyal tribes. Well, maybe we should just go for Ming now. Since our truce is ending in a year. I mean, it's five years to rebuild our manpower, so... We won't have to worry about it. And I'm going to get the military reformer. When do we get our governing capacity up? That's my question. Oh, it, it's gonna cuck our freaking. Actually, no, because once we. We're almost there. We're very close. Indirect rule's pretty good. Reduce separatism. Okay. How many do they have is the question. They have a lot of troops. Korea doesn't have that many though. So once we get this, which we're very close. Come on. Where's the one where we get minimum autonomy? That's the one I should have gotten, but whatever. It's not like we have to worry about it. All right. <sighs> Come on. Oh, we're taking attrition from marching. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're so freaking close. Okay, one more turn, we should get it. One more month, I should say. There's no turns in this game. <sighs> I just did the math. There we go. Okay, so that's good. And we really need, we do need to take advantage of this, so. This guy does cost a lot, but that's three mana points per turn. And we can afford him, so let's do it. Oh gosh, this is like on the other side of the empire, isn't it? Yep, it is, of course. So that's gonna be fun. So let's get some cannons. Just go. These are. And we have some crap leaders, don't we? Should 
I only think we need half of that. Freaking rebels everywhere. Okay, that actually works well for me. Okay, we've got our cannons. Got the tech on him. This will probably be a two turn more with Korea involved, but maybe not. We've got the right cost of Spelly. Alright, let's do it. And he's a crapper. I have a three. Sh we need a good shock general. Oh, man. Get rid of this one shock. Fighting on planes, we have a three shock against a one shock. And we have military tech. We should actually win this. We can get out of there, actually. And let's send our troops down here. All right. Yeah, we don't want to fight there. I'll wait for him to stack on Chengdu. Or actually, he might be able to catch the Korean army. Yes. So hold up. Just divide and conquer. Once we deal with these rebels... Troops are going to take forever to get there. Dang it! Should've just gone for him. Gosh dang it. Okay, I got I caught him. Hopefully this is okay, this is planes. Should be good. And we'll wait to go face them. Should smash them pretty easily. Alright, we need to gather up and go deal with that down there. Okay, we settled this. Okay, this should be the end of revolts. I am worried that Muscovy is going to come for us, though. In that case, we're, we need to... So we really need to cripple our adversaries. Korea got pretty beat up. 
So if we beat them a few more... This guy's a two shock. Do we have anybody better to put in here? We have a three shock. There's our three shocks right here, though. And that's our two siege pip. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a big battle here. Which, again, we should win. Given that we have military tech and better troops. I don't want to do that. They'll just jump on me and that'll be a big loss. This is a terrible area to fight too. This area of China. We just need to smash their big army. What's their manpower at? Their manpower is basically out. They're losing a lot in attrition here. So I think we should be okay. But we need to get on the offensive here. Okay, starting off good. Starting off good. Should win this. They gave up. Okay, where's our three siege, Pip? You're right there. Okay, we'll send you over. I think we can send our cannon up in that army as well. I'm gonna once I get over here I'm gonna split I need to go deal with that now I just can't have all these troops wandering around up here they're gonna cause me a whole bunch of grief catch up how many cannons do we need we need four artillery to get a two bonus it's not even worth doing that sieging down at this point until we get this situation squared away up here. Should win this. It looks like they're retreating to Shenyang. Oh crap. Never mind, we're killing them. Closer than I expected, though. Maybe we'll lose? What the heck? We're actually gonna lose this battle. But, fortunately for us, we have more troops coming up. Okay, let's put our shock general back in charge here. Two shock here. That's better. You're no good. Okay. A minor setback. But we are grinding the Ming down, and thankfully we have our manpower, so... But we're gonna lose a crap ton of money here. What is going on with these rolls? They just have a really good general. Let's see if we can catch them. It's the mountain province, though. Shouldn't matter, though.
Okay. This is not ideal, but I'm not going to just keep running away from him. We have a numbers advantage like this. About ready to corral their big army. Korea's committed over there. We can catch them. This is planes. That's excellent. And then once that happens, we can start. We should be able to start sieging. Looks like the Chinese are coming. No, do not do that. Actually, if we can hold them down. We just stack wipe the Korean army. That's massive. Okay. Let's see. We got. We have two. Um. Okay. All right. Let's do this. All right. We've caught them. And we'll be able to spread our troops around as well. God, our rolls are so bad. So we have you. And we have you. All right, let's do this. Okay. They're running out of troops. So all we need to do is just play whack-a-mole with what they have left and just beat them where we can. I am a bit worried about all these troops here, but how many do they have combined? They have over 50,000. So if they attack me at Shenyang, we might be in a bit of trouble. Or maybe not. If they lose, they lose the war. So I'm going to have you guys attach. Muscovy is at war, so we don't have to worry about them for a while. I'm going to go up north again and see if we can catch them. I think we'll, this will definitely be a uh, multi-phased war. I'm not going to do this all in one video. It's just too much. We need more freaking artillery, though. That I do know. In fact, maybe I'll... Uh, Can't run for me forever. Is there four in here? 
Oh, we're stupid, that's why. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Just want to detach this one. Put it in with the siege army. And I guess we can send this army into Korea. Now we'll send it to Shenyang and see if we can block it. catch them here. No, I don't want to fight them in the ding freaking... Okay, we gotta go around again. Okay, you've got four cannons. You should knock that fort out pretty quick. Especially with it being level. But we need to go deal with this crap down here. This is gonna be a problem. I feel like we're kind of on the back foot for this one, unfortunately. This is kind of a grinding war of attrition. Oop. If we can get Korea out, which we should, that will help a lot. Okay. This should be pretty easy. I look at our manpower that we've burned through so much of our manpower in this one. They're not really fighting me. They're just kind of running when things get ugly. Oh, we got a girl advisor. <laughs> nice. Uh. Alright. Oh my gosh. Great. We lost our great power status. That's just what we need. This is pretty bad. Burnt through most of our manpower. Well, thank gosh we saved it up. Ming is hiring mercenaries now, though. Korea is completely shot. This is pretty stupid. Fighting them in the... We, we do have cannons, though, so that does help. Oh my gosh. Great. Always at the worst possible time when I need freaking money. And one of my generals kicked the bucket. Like he. What did he die from the. F <laughs> four siege pit? <laughs> okay. Well, that's something. Whatever. Oh, our generals suck! Right, we have 52 army tradition and we can't get a good freaking general. There we go. Get out of here. Wait, we don't want we don't want to kick our leader. It's a free general. Put 
put this four siege pip in there. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my gosh, of course! Of course we get the tribes rebels right in the middle of a freaking war. And we're out of manpower. Ugh. So bad. Okay, a governing capacity. Can we not get rebels right in the middle of a freaking war? And they're all the way across over there, of course. Goodness. This is obnoxious, and I need a moment to think, because now everything's out of control with these stupid freaking rebels. Everything was going so well. We don't want that. We have won most of the battles, but it doesn't make any difference when we're just getting ground down to nothing. But this war is dragging out for them, fortunately for us, but now we're going to have to face a resurgent Russia, and we've just completely burned through all of our freaking manpower. Oh my god, this stupid rebel army. Well, they'll go over to bug somebody else too, though. That's the good news. It's not only our problem. Okay, let's go. Come on, we've got a four freaking siege pip, and we keep getting these... This RNG is just terrible. I guess that we can... No. Do not fight the dang rebels. Let them just do what they want. Like, I don't know why they always come at the worst possible time. We need to get Korea out of this war. Really tired of them. Oh, they're carpet sieging. We're, we can't do that. We got to go get rid of them. Oh my gosh. Great, they're already putting claims on me. Alright, I'm getting really mad now, so I'm probably not playing my best. Because we just keep letting armies slip through. We got this stupid rebel army. Okay, it's alright. If they get caught in... Let's split in two. We'll get our... 
maneuver guy. Mountains. This is the worst part of China to fight in. Okay, we're starting to recoup a little bit of manpower at least. Oh my god, freaking Korea! Let's see if we can catch them between these two. It's like their last standing army. Catch them there. This will flip back. Moscow's claiming crap. gonna have to leave the tribes alone for now we can't do anything about it and we're gonna run out of money ah boy we're gonna have to sell now nah, we're just gonna have to take loans it's just all there is to it Okay, Korea's getting mercenaries now, so. This war is not going so well. We're winning. Oh my gosh, why are we so slow? Don't. Gotta wait for they get out of there. I should be able to catch these guys pretty easily. Take that fort. Okay, we've caught him finally. Finally. Okay, now we can start sieging stuff down. All right. Stack wipe. All right, Korea's out of it. All 
All right, I'm gonna save here. We're 45 minutes in. We've more or less stabilized. But they worry me, even though they're out of manpower. <clears throat> but Korea's weak. Ming is completely shot to pieces. We could just accept... No, we, we can't accept peace. We need to take as much as we can from them. So in the last one, or the next one, I'll clean this up. But we're completely out of manpower, so that's really bad. And we're about ready to have a bunch of revolts, which is freaking terrible. So we need to uh, finish this up pretty quickly. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do that right now, just to help a little bit. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.